in the last video we have learned about some introduction about dbms and advantages of dbms what are the advantages data duplication less chance of errors the records are complete and consistent data can be stored shared and unauthorized and use can be controlled the next is disadvantage even though dbms has so many advantages it has some disadvantages also it is complex to understand so the person having clear knowledge about dbms can access this software it is very complex it is very difficult to understand the next is some application of dbms are very slow not like previous traditional file processing system this is some application of dbms when you install in your system it is very slow the next is it is more expensive if you want to install a oracle or any software like uh, dbms software it is somewhat expensive the next is large storage space if you want to install the software in your computer or laptop it require large amount of storage space next is working of dbms as i have told you earlier data is stored in a centralized location data cannot be stored in a separate location it is stored in a centralized location and it can it, it it is a common place for users to access the data easily since it is stored in a centralized location all the users can access the data very easily and here there are some database object there are three three types of database object they are forms queries and reports there are three database object the data in the database is uh, is like table the data is stored in a table what do you mean by table rows and columns the data is stored in rows and columns here there are three database object forms queries and report form is nothing but it is used for you can view the data add the data delete the data and modify the data the next is query query means what you can ask some question to the database if you want if there is a library database you can ask a part, whether a particular book is available or not you can send a query to database asking some question to database the next is report report is nothing but used to summarize at the data if you want to summarize your data you can go for reports for example in a bank database you can generate a report showing the name and address of all customer if you want the name and address of all customer you can if you want to summarize if you want to generate a report of all the customers address uh, and names you can do it using what reports there are three database objects forms queries and reports now i hope you have clearly understood the introduction of dbms what is a data information database and dbms okay thank you students